Hey. Hey. What's your order? Uh, I just got here, actually. Okay. And look, uh, breakfast is on me. <laughs> really? What's the occasion, big time? For you not getting arrested for going to Ferncliff last night to see Lucy Coe? Uh, uh, well, actually, I gotta tell you, it's not that big a deal. You see, when Jason and I were in prep school, I was kind of a master at sneaking out past curfew, and, uh, I'm afraid some of those skills have stayed with me, so the hardest thing was just not, uh, getting caught by Tracy. Yeah, he kind of did. Tracy, uh, found out you went to Ferncliff. Michael, come on. I, I told you I am the to world's you. worst I, uh, liar, okay? She knew you were going to make a play to get Lucy to support you at ELQ. Well, Tracy is definitely going to make a play of her own now. Good morning, Mother. Well, does it really matter what Tracy's planning since we have Lucy on our side? Yeah, about that. Um, Lucy isn't exactly on board yet. Well, didn't you tell her that Tracy was planning to cut her out of ELQ? Oh, I did better than that. I told her that I actually believed her crazy story about the vampires taking over Port Charles. <laughs> we don't know she gets hauled out for a psych evaluation before I can get her to sign over her 1%. Well, no, that's probably best. I mean, you don't want to take advantage of her mental illness, right? Right. Um, but I did actually manage to meet another patient there who seems to think the ELQ is mine for the taking. Who? Heather Weber, are you serious? I get it. She's a, a character. Out of a horror film. You saw her holding a knife to Sky's throat on Thanksgiving, didn't you? Yes, okay, I get it. She's a potentially lethal whack job, but these are extraordinary circumstances. No circumstances are worth trusting Heather. Now, wait a second. Wait a second. You don't know that. Heather seemed to have the inside track on ELQ, and since Lucy Coe has become a less than reliable co-conspirator, I, I just think it's smart business sense to listen to what she has to say. I have no regret asking this, but how in the world could Heather help you gain control of ELQ? Miss Jax, may I... What strategic knowledge could Heather possibly have about EOQ? Hey, look, I was ready to blow her off and fly the, the cuckoo's nest. But then she started talking about grandfather's will. And again, how, how could she possibly know anything about that? Well, she claims that when she crashed Thanksgiving, that she actually read it. And she says that there's something in that will that will give me some serious leverage over Tracy. What kind of leverage? I don't know. I, I've read that thing backwards and forwards, and there, it, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary to me. You mean she didn't give you anything else to go on? No, she said she wouldn't do that unless I gave her a little incentive. She'd give you the keys to EOQ in exchange to the keys for Farncliffe. I don't know. You know, it's like, I think she just wants a friend. You know, someone to be her advocate on the outside. You're not going to be Heather's friend on the outside. Come on. Michael, I might not have any choice. You have the same choice. You need to stay far, far away from this woman. AJ? I appreciate your concern, but doing uh, business with Heather Weber, that might be a necessary evil. Did you know that uh, all of last year, Heather tortured Sam and Jason? Okay, come on, that, that's got to be uh, a little dramatic, right? Did you know that Jason had a twin brother? Yeah, Mom told me, some artist, a guy named Franco. Yeah, and did you know what he did to Sam? I read about it. But what does it have to do with me doing anything with Heather Weber? When Jason and Sam were trying to figure out who Danny's biological father was, Heather tampered with the DNA results and made it look like Franco was Danny's father. So they tried to make Sam believe that she was carrying a rapist baby? Yeah. The night Danny was born, Heather helped Star's dad switch Danny for another baby that died. Yeah, but why, why would she single Sam out like that? Because she forgot to deliver a letter. Wait, what? She what? She forgot to... Heather was afraid she'd get caught, so she was going to jump off the roof of the hospital with Danny in her arms. Look, I can go on and on about all the crimes this woman okay, okay, committed. I get, I get it, I get it. You know, being involved with Heather Weber... It's is, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Because don't, if, you, if you go into business with Heather Weber, I can't be a part of it. I can't do that to Danny or Sam. Okay. I hear you. Good. And look, we'll find another way to make you part of the EOQ. We, just, we don't need to work with a murderer. What about another murderer? What do you know about Johnny Sakara? This is gonna be... Johnny Sakara, are you serious? I know Johnny caused the accident which killed Star's family. Yeah, I don't know. 
I propose to explain to Star that I'm going into business with Johnny. I know this isn't great, but the longer this battle goes on with Tracy, the fewer options we have. And if I can't work with Heather, if I can't work with Heather Weber, I may have to work with Johnny. Why, Johnny? Um, a while back, Sky gave me some information that linked Tracy to the Salido crime family. Tracy was married to Gino Salido for like five minutes. What I is know, that? I know. Well, because she managed to figure out a way to funnel some dirty money into ELQ to keep it afloat. I mean, she would be in a world of hurt if the SEC ever found out about that. Okay, then why not just go to Sky and get the information? Sky gave the information to Anthony Sakara, who then used it to blackmail Tracy into marrying him. And she thinks that Johnny got the evidence when Anthony died. Uh, and if I can figure out a way to get it out of him, then... You'll have enough leverage to get Tracy out of EOQ. Exactly. I just need to figure out the best way to approach Johnny. I'll do it. I know what buttons to push. No, no. Michael, listen to me. I, do, I don't want you getting your hands dirty in this. We don't have that much of a choice now, do we? Besides, I know how to handle myself. Thank you when I get results. Okay, partner. I'm not out of. Sakara! Got a visitor. Michael. What are you doing here? I need your help. I'm only. On the next General Hospital. Not only are you trying to manipulate my son, you're now trying to manipulate me. How can you let Britt take your place? So why don't you want to be my friend? Because I don't like you. You're going to help me? What is it you need me to do? Oh!